Prince Harry, 37, could be one of the hosts at the Academy Awards 2022 on March 27, it has been claimed. After three years without a host, the Duke of Sussex might join star-studded guests at the Oscars ceremony, according to royal commentator Ross King. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, Mr King said, Back to the Oscars, there is talk of Tom Hanks, Richard Gere and Prince Harry which goes to show you any old Tom, Dick and Harry can host. It comes as a source told OK. That Meghan and Harry have been invited to all the big events and planned on attending the Oscars too. But they had almost certainly come face to face with Stuart since Shush is a lock for a Best Actress nomination. The royal couple are said to be living the American dream. Harry told a New York gala honoring veterans that he was living the American dream after a recent ride in a car shaped like a hot dog. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the 2021 Salute to Freedom Gala, held on the eve of Veterans Day in the US and Armistice Day in the UK, and praised the value of service members and their families. Harry wore black tie, his medals and the cross of the Knight Commander of Royal Victorian Order and Meghan a red gown, while the pair adorned their outfits with a poppy. US Weekly's royal correspondent Christina Garibaldi said, Meghan dazzled in a red v-neck gown as she and Harry were all smiles at the Salute to Freedom Gala in New York. The twosome walked hand in hand on the red carpet outside of the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. Meghan told reporters that she is always proud of her husband as he presented five awards. Harry said, It's wonderful to be back on USS Intrepid a decade after my last visit. A lot has changed since then. Just last week, I went for a ride on the Oscar Mayer Weinemobile. How's that for living the American dream? The Duke presented Intrepid Valor Awards to five service members, veterans and military families, and he spoke of how his military experience shaped the person he is today. He told the audience at the Intrepid Museum, It's wonderful to be back on USS Intrepid a decade after my last visit, and a lot has changed since then. Just last week, I went for a ride on the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. How's that for living the American dream? I've lived in the US for close to two years now. I have to say, witnessing your support for all those that put themselves in harm's way in defense of our freedoms and liberties, it's remarkable and hugely respected. It reminds me of the deep reverence us Brits have for our military as well. The armed forces communities in both our countries share a special bond, and I'm grateful to have served in support of our joint allyship for many years. Harry served in the military for a decade and had two tours of Afghanistan, and has organized the Invictus Games for wounded and injured service members and veterans since 2014. He added, as we honor and reflect on Remembrance Day in the UK, which shares a date tomorrow with Veterans Day here in the US, my hope is for all of us to continue to support the well-being, and recognize the value of, our troops, veterans, and the entire military and service family. We and they are better for it. I served 10 years in the military, including two tours of duty in Afghanistan, one as in fact, forward air controller, on the ground and in the dust with some of you, another as an Apache helicopter pilot in the air supporting and talking with you.